What's going on, everybody? Well, it's the holiday season, and you know what that means. It is time for our 2020 holiday buying guide. Let's take a look. So for those of you that weren't around last year, here's what we do. We are, as you know on this channel, all about games and toys. Basically, this is Nerdvana. So today we're going to be looking at suggestions for gifts this holiday season for those in your life that enjoy things from video games, video game accessories, toys, the always generic but exciting other, and finally some digital subscription services that you can sign someone up for that are awesome. Of note, I want to stress that I don't suggest consoles of any variety in this video. Yeah, the PS5, the Xbox Series X, the Switch, and any of the arcade one-up cabinets are great, but these are a little bit lower end gifts. So if you can find them, awesome, go ahead and pick them up. But if not, don't stress, we got you covered. All right, guys, up first, we are talking about video games. You love video games, I love video games. We're here to talk about video games. And the first one we're gonna talk about is Mario Kart Live, the augmented reality game where you can set up your own Mario Kart courses and play with an RC car in your home, controlling it with your Nintendo Switch. Chase the cat, harass your significant other, have your kids duke it out Thunderdome style. The world is your blue shell. This one is getting hard to find in stores and carries a retail price tag of $99.99 for either the Mario or Luigi pack, but both are fantastic, give you the same game, and are excellent additions to your collection. Pikmin 3 Deluxe is a remaster of the Wii U Classic, with the addition of side story missions, co-op story mode, and all the DLC for the OG release on one tiny cart. Pikmin is a series beloved by many, and it looks and plays fantastically on the Nintendo Switch. Look, I know that Avengers gets a bad rap online, and a lot of folks complain about it being a Destiny clone, and to be fair, a lot of those critiques are valid at times. But I gotta be honest, I've had an absolute blast playing this game. The writing is stellar, the single player campaign is a ton of fun, and the feel of the game is 100% pure superhero goodness. And the new Kate Bishop Hawkeye DLC Taking Aim that just debuted this week is the first in a series of planned character add-ons. This game can already be picked up at a discount during the holiday season and is definitely worth picking up and playing if you're an Avengers fan. I will admit to you, I am a sucker for the Watch Dogs universe, and Watch Dogs Legion was no different. But for the first time, I gotta be honest, this actually feels like the realized vision of what Ubisoft promised us with the original Watch Dogs game. A fully interconnected city with the ability to really dive into the seedy underbelly of near future London. It's not a perfect game by any stretch, but I'm having a ton of fun playing it so far. All right, well, I haven't personally picked up Spider-Man Miles Morales yet. I've seen enough reviews and been told by friends and people I trust that the game is solid, albeit a bit short. But let's call it for what it is. It's a $50 game and it's one that does what it does incredibly well with a ton of style and solid gameplay. If you were a fan of the original Spider-Man game like I was, this game is definitely for you. No lie, I am honestly shocked at the depth on display in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. What I expected was akin to the OG Hyrule Warriors or Fire Emblem Warriors. What I got was a game with deep collection aspects, cooking, crafting, and amazing gameplay. Now, don't play it multiplayer right now, for the love of God, but do check it out, because there's some serious lore and groundwork being laid down on something that I'm afraid a lot of Zelda fans may overlook. Straight up, I played the ever-living hell out of the X-Wing and TIE Fighter series back in the 90s, so Star Wars Squadrons was almost tailor-made for me. Delivering solid gameplay, gorgeous visuals, and a ridiculously affordable price point of $40, the game is well worth picking up. There's a lot of people who expected a lot more from the game, but EA delivered on exactly what they said they would do. A solid single player campaign, fun Star Wars action, and zero microtransactions. Honestly, any version of this game is worth checking out, but I do suggest you pick it up on the PS4 if you have a PSVR unit, as the game supports VR visualization through the headset. You guys saw Meredith and I talk about New Super Lucky's Tale for the Switch, but it's out now for both the PS4 and the Xbox One. It's honestly one of the most charming, fun 3D platformers I have played in years, and I'm so stoked that it's available on other platforms now definitely worth picking up, and a ton of fun for families and for kids. Alright guys, if we have video games, it's now time to talk video game accessories. And I honestly think of all the accessories for the Switch that I own, the Satisfy Gripping Case is the most important one I've personally purchased. My biggest issue with the system, playing in handheld mode without my grip, is that the ergonomics are complete and utter tripe. My hands cramp up all the time. 
and that's solved perfectly by the Satisfy Grip. There's tons of color options, and with different cases you can choose from, that makes this, to me at least, a no-brainer for the Switch owner in your life. Now look, I love my Switch Pro controller from Nintendo, but I won't lie, sometimes I want something that's laid out like an SNES controller to play my games with. And while I do love my SN30 Pro from 8-Bit Doe, the SN30 Pro Plus adds ergonomic grips that make this the absolute second best option for a Pro-style controller for the system. The SN30 Pro Plus controller is fantastic. I play my Switch almost exclusively on the television. Probably 80% of the time I'm playing connected to the dock, which means I'm using my Pro Controller to play. Now, Pro Controllers do run out of battery, and I hate the look of just a USB-C cord hanging out of the side of the Switch. So what I did was I picked up the Amazon Basics Switch Pro Controller Charger. I had one before that actually had like a dongle I had to plug into the USB-C port on my Switch, but it looked weird and it just, I didn't like the way it worked. This one works fantastic and it looks great next to the Switch. Now for a long time, these here were kind of the unicorn of Switch accessories. The Split Grip Pros released at the time of Damon X Machina and they quietly disappeared from shelves, but they are back in full force with a ton of design choices. In particular, I personally like the Pac-Man design, but you can't go wrong with any of these. There's just solid colors, there's Pokemon designs, Everything looks great on these. These are wonderful to pick up for your Switch. Okay, I won't lie. These are absolutely the most unnecessary of anything on this entire list. But when I saw these things at Best Buy, I honestly laughed my ass off. The cable guys from EXG Pro hold your controller or Switch or phone or tablet and whatever. And they're just fantastic. They're licensed controller holders and they look ridiculous, but I they're silly and I love them. I think they're wonderful. Personally, for me, my headphones of choice are the HyperX Cloud 2 headset. With a great sound quality, solid aluminum frame, and a detachable microphone, these will work well on any system for your voice chat needs. Except the Switch, unfortunately, in most cases. But honestly, they sound great, they look great, and they feel great. They're not too heavy, they're not uncomfortable. I love them. I do a lot of PC gaming, and the Logitech G502 Hero Gaming Mouse literally changed the way I play games. There's tons of programmable buttons, a 16K DPI range, and solid ergonomic design, and that's all great. But what really got me was that the mouse ships with additional weights you can add to the body to get it to the level of heft you like your mouse to have. It completely changed the way I play, and I absolutely love this mouse. Now we're gonna talk about toys and collectibles, and that's not just for the kids in your life. Let's be honest, you can see behind me, it's for people like me too. And you guys know how much I love my G.I. Joe classified figures. Hasbro is fully behind the relaunched line. Now is the time to add the figures from waves one and two to your collection before the new waves hit next year. Okay, now this one is a bit on the pricier side, but if you or someone you care about is a child of the 80s, the NES Lego set will scratch both the itches of their love of video games and their love of playing with LEGO. The set looks gorgeous and has amazing moving pieces. Like I said, it is up there in price, but it is beautiful and a fantastic display piece after it's assembled. Who doesn't love The Mandalorian, right? I think it's just fantastic. And who doesn't love Nerf? There's nothing better than shooting your friends or your kid with a Nerf dart. The Nerf wrist gauntlets that released this year mimic the whistling bird darts and flamethrower that Mando has, and it's just incredible. It's perfect for kids, or let's face it, adults, that can't get enough of the show. I love board games, you guys know that, you've seen my reviews of Wingspan and Suro, and the Disney Villainous games from Ravensburger are a ton of fun. But now enter Marvel Villainous, their take on the Villainous franchise, featuring the charismatic bad guys of the MCU, like Thanos, Hela, Ultron, Killmonger, or Taskmaster. Each character has their own unique goals and missions to accomplish, and there are fantastic sculpted pieces in this set. Villainous is a ton of fun. The world has been absolutely captivated by the cuteness of Grogu. And really, who can blame Disney for capitalizing on that captivation than by them releasing the child animatronic from The Mandalorian? He moves, he talks, he interacts. He's awesome. If you're like me and you're at all into Dungeons and Dragons, and you want to break the ice just a bit before you dive full-fledged into a campaign, D&D The Adventure Begins is a cooperative fantasy board game where every player gets to be the Dungeon Master. This is a great way to bring the magnificent world of D&D &D to both your friends and your family. Look, I'm not going to lie to you, there's a ton of awesome Mandalorian merch out there, and the Darksaber is one of the best. It looks just like the ancestral weapon of the Mandalorians, now possessed by Moff Gideon, and it lights up and make noise. It's great for kids to play with or to hang on your wall. 
All right, and finally, if you have dived deep into the world of D&D and are looking to freshen up your campaign or start a new one, the new source book called Tasha's Cauldron of Everything will give you access to new subclasses, puzzles for your adventurers to solve, spells, artifacts. Honestly, this is a kick-ass expansion pack to freshen up and bring new life to your D&D adventures. All right, guys, now it's time for the wild card round. Random stuff that just kind of caught my eye throughout the year. And honestly, who doesn't want an animated, talking, interactive Deadpool head? Now, I do feel that the Merc with a Mouth is way overexposed right now, but I can't deny the kitschy idiocy of this interactive cadaver thing for your home. It's essentially a big mouth Billy Bass, only it doesn't sing awful country music. I, I think. I love collector's editions of vinyl records, and the Cowboy Bebop LP from Barnes & Noble is awesome. Featuring music from the show, including the fantastic theme song Tank, this vinyl will run you $33, but it'll add 500 style points into your vinyl collection. And while there is hopefully good news on the horizon as far as coming out of the cosmic dumpster fire that is 2020, we still need to be responsible and socially distance where possible. And what better way to kill an evening than by putting together a badass thousand piece puzzle featuring the art of Castlevania by the brilliant Becky Cloonan. Finally, guys, you can't go wrong with getting subscriptions or making purchases to any of the following. D&D Beyond will allow you to purchase digital versions of the necessary source books, as well as create characters online to keep your sheets available at all times. You're able to create a free account, but there's an online marketplace and a subscription-based option where you can create as many characters as possible and join as many campaigns as you like. DC Universe Infinite is an $8 a month service that will give you access to 24,000 plus comics online. Explore the worlds of the Batman, Stargirl, or the Green Lantern Corps, or get lost in a series of Elseworlds. Access to comics as far back as the golden age of the industry are right at the touch of a button. And finally, if you've got a fan of the Marvel Comics on your shopping list, for 10 bucks a month, Marvel Unlimited gives you access to 26,000 plus digital comics dating back decades. Learn more about your favorite MCU characters, dive deep into the world of Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four, or bring on the bad guys or the superior foes of Spider-Man. It's all here, and it's all fantastic. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the 2020 Holiday Buying Guide. I hope there's something on here that you dig, something that sparks your interest or at least inspires you to pick up something for someone you love in your family. There's all kinds of neat stuff on here and all kinds of stuff that means a lot to me and the people in my life, and we think that you'll like it as well. But now I want to hear in the comments down below, what is something that you're hoping to get this holiday season? And if you don't celebrate, I understand. I still wish you a happy holiday season and a blessed new year. If you enjoyed today's video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up down below. It lets us know that you enjoy what we're doing. And if this is your first time on the channel, please do consider subscribing as well. And while you're there, ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with everything we've got going on. Until next time, guys, I have been Jay. I appreciate you being here and giving us a little bit of your time by watching this video. Play more games, open your toys, stay square, take care, and happy holidays. We'll talk to you soon.